All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. We here, Connect the Dot Podcast, episode 16. Dang, we here, episode 16. What up to all you people tuning in every single week? Shout out to you guys for, you know, sharing all that stuff, letting people know about tagging artists, all that stuff, submitting music, all that stuff. Shout out to you guys. Uh, today, we got a special guest for you guys. We got the man, Lotus. What up, Lotus? Uh, 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 log one. Respects for being here, brother. Uh, as always, you are guys. You guys know how it is. You know we bring in a guest, some local hip hop. We got a fucking legend in the making right here. You already know what that is. And we got some snacks and some munchies every single week. We always munching out, smoking out. We got the sponsor, Super Vendors, but I had a little issue, couldn't meet up with them. So we got our backup, the big homie at Taunton Country Variety, hooked us up with some exotic snack stuff from America, stuff from all over the place. Mm. Uh, man, like, look at this. Shit. What do you think about that spread, man? I'm ready to rock and roll, dog. I'm a candy fanatic. Jeez. Okay, what are you thinking here? So we are, I, I see, we used to have it little, really, really crowded here, but now we got to pick the drinks first because we, we realized we can keep them cool, right? So I let Lotus pick his drink first. So tell him about the drink you got. It's a crushed strawberry ting. There it is. Let's see what's going on. I never had this one before, so that's a returning. That's a returning okay. one. We had that okay. one on the show before. I can't lie, it had good ratings before, so we'll see how it does today. I grabbed the uh, I grabbed the Fanta Berry, mm. caffeine free. I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's so. super true. Oh, mine's caffeine free too. Okay, bro. it's okay. We don't need to be wilding on here. Right. We don't need to be wilding. It's all right. But uh, all right, so we, we we got a choice of candies. You can pick one. Um, obviously, there's some shareables here, and then some that you know. Obviously, we're not gonna be sharing shit, mm. right? But pick pick whatever you want, bro. Pick whatever you want. You guess first. Yes. I'm taking a sip. Yeah, same. I'm thirsty. Okay. My, I can't lie, mine's fire straight off the hop, bro. Yo. I thought it was gonna taste like almost too much like fake strawberry. Right. They got to figure it figured out. Yeah, like the flavor's good on they that one. They got to figure it out. No, for sure. That one's a that one's a super fire one. Shout out mm. to Taunton Country Variety on 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 the on the drinks. Shout out. All right. Snacks on you, dog. You get to pick first. Bro, I'm going Warheads. That's a must. I'm opening that up <laughs> immediately. That's an yeah, instant bro. open. What are you going with? I, I, yo, okay. So there's a lot of cool snacks here. So like we got the Cracker Jacks, which is like a big one. There's a prize in the box. I don't know if you guys remember them. They're pretty old school. Yeah, we got one um, we Sour got Twist. The, I got the, too excited. It's okay. The Sour Twist ones. We got the Mike and Ike's Cotton Candy, which those are fire. I've had those before. Mm. This one i never seen before. We got um, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. White chocolate. Um, white pumpkins. I don't know. White chocolate pumpkins. I don't know. I'm a Reese's head, so those look really interesting to me, but I don't know. I'm wondering if it tastes like pumpkin. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. Okay, okay. All right. I think I'm going to rock with... <coughs> Yo, what is this? Yo, Fruity Pebbles oh. Kit Kat? Yeah, that's that's fire. Oh, no. Oh, it's like a Fruit Loops one. Yeah. Oh, my God. God. All right, yo, I'm rocking with the Fruit Loops Kit Kat. All right, let's 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 jump in this. Let's jump into some candies. Jump into some drinks. But you know, we ain't here just to munch out and smoke out and all that type of shit and have a couple drinks at night. You know, we're here to chat. We're here to chop it up, mm. talk some hip hop, talk talk some local current events, this kind of stuff. Um, you know, a lot of stuff going on right now, and I know. You've been pretty vocal about it, so I wanted to. I wanted to just jump. This is the first. We got to jump on it right away. Uh -huh. We got to talk about this. So, I mean, it's not so much about Donda versus. It's mm. just about. I, I'm more or less. I want to hear your feedback on the on the Drake album. Um, CLB baby. Let me tell you something. Yeah, obviously you heard the whole thing. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Drake as a as a MC, I don't understand the flack that he gets. Mm. Drake to me, his pen is like top-notch you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. the album's a bit long mm -hmm. but i understand the streaming game mm -hmm. it's the way it goes numbers mm -hmm. game um i don't know like even some of them joints that that people don't really like i'm rocking with obviously the standouts are like the bridal pad joint the remorse to me mm -hmm. the intro like that's the mc in me mm -hmm. but We'll see, right? It's so early. I don't like the whole like jumping on right away and saying yeah, this songs is have amazing. to grow on you yeah. too sometimes. Yeah, this is amazing or this is trash or or, or not grow on you. Like yeah. you lose like you know what? Actually, that song's kind of corny. Yeah, that happens yeah, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, oh, 100 percent. There's mm -hmm. hella songs like that that mm -hmm. I, that even even Drake records that like I initially thought. Yo, you know who tricked me like that? Mm. Logic, right? <laughs> so hold on, you didn't think Logic was good, or you thought I Logic thought was Logic good? Logic was sick right when i first heard and then, him. now you think he's trash and i remember i played him for a man mm. and he's like yo i don't know bro i'm like 
hold up. And I had to go back no, and do some, yeah. inner, some inner thinking <laughs> and listen more times. I'm like, yeah. yo, he's really not saying anything. So mm. I got called, bro. Mm. But the Drake, the Drake album, I think it's really good. I think um, it's hard to like reinvent yourself when you've done it so many times. People are expecting like him to be this revolutionary and this is going to be the groundbreaking effort. It's like, right. But he's giving you a Drake album. It's, I was just going to say, it's just another album. You know what I mean? So I'm curious to see what Kendrick does. Right. Yeah, I'm it, not a huge Kendrick fan. Well, it's kind of crazy, right? Like Tori, yeah. then Kanye, then Drake, mm-hmm. now Kendrick. I think Tori had a better project than both of them. Did you Did you listen to the I, Tori I, project? I, I know you're not supposed to say you what you did, mm. but bro, I think Tori. I think Tori. He, he the one thing that I the one concern I have with Tori mm-hmm. is his identity a little bit. I find he's a little bit more. Kind of does other things very well that other people do like he can get into a drake bag and be amazing at it mm-hmm. he can get into the baby's bag mm-hmm. be amazing at it but i think he had the best album out of out of the three mentioned at this mm. point interesting but he had some joints on that project yo one thing i'll say about the drake thing is i didn't really like and like i, I was talking to guts about this but i didn't really like i don't and i don't really like how drake is so like lackluster with his marketing like mm. i don't know what did you think of the album cover Yo, at first I was like, "This is stupid." Okay, I, that's what I thought at first. But now you like it. It's not that I like it. Okay, it's, I list. I actually listened to. Uh, I was listening to. Uh, I saw a post from the Brilliant Idiots. You see mm. this or no? Yeah, you're talking about the nine months. Charlemagne, the, the no, pregnant thing. Not even oh, okay. Charlemagne. Oh, oh. He, he. The way he explained it, and I totally agree with it. It's like the um um, what the fuck's it called? The, the, if you're reading this, is too late. Exactly. When that artwork came out. It was like this is fucking trash. Stupid. It's so simple. That's what. That's kind of what I'm referring to as well. Yeah. But then you realize that it became a meme because everybody was using that art, using the same font, and writing whatever they wanted to write on it. Correct. And it's the same idea with this one. People are taking like Lil Nas X used it, Michelle Obama used of course. it. But right? hear me out. This is my thing on that though. Mm. No matter what Drake drops, it's getting yeah. memed. Yeah, I guess he, he so, got. Yeah. He, he, look at that beautiful artwork he put out with him on the top of the scene. Tower. Views. <laughs> I, I even was guilty of memeing even the that. scorpion one. Yeah, like even that was good artwork, yeah, yeah, but it yeah. got memed. Everything yeah. gets memed. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess he's, he's the highlight. Level. Yeah, he's yeah. the highlight, right? So you have to meme it. If yeah. you don't, then I guess you don't. Have you're choice, not staying man. on top of the trend, if anything, right? Yeah. But what I would say to that is, like for me, like the if you're reading is too late. Like it's cool. That one was cool to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's not cool anymore because you keep doing it. Like, mm. give me some good artwork. I mm. want the good artwork. You know what I mean? I'm just an artwork guy. I'm an old head. No, like, 100%. I don't want this new looking pixel. Like, yeah. I don't know. Put some effort into it. You're a billionaire, probably. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I <laughs> That's just me. But anyways. Put some effort yo, into it. You're yo, a but, but yo, forget, like, just on the Kanye versus Drake kind of battle, I guess, debate, whatever. Like, <clears throat> one big thing that stood out to me, although, like, both albums were decent, like, um, well, Drake's album was fire. Yeah. Um, Kanye's was pretty fire like mm. I, it wasn't bad um, and had some really good moments but yeah. um, they both had an opportunity to do a track with Jay-Z and like I always look at that like whenever like I see someone's album I'm like okay so they had this guy on it and this guy had this guy okay let's hear the track yeah, let's yeah, put yeah. that track versus that track you both had the opportunity to do the song with the legend yeah what'd you do with it right I feel like Drake is way better oh but I think even even Hove's verse on Drake's is way better. I don't think it's just about the record. I think even Hove. True. Um, but, but the beat selection, it still counts. Like, yeah, no, still, 100%, yeah, 100%. Yeah, but I know what you're saying. But, you're right. But, but he, it's a vibe, right? Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. That, the right, you know, he, did, he did really. The beat, the artist you're with. Yeah. Maybe maybe he heard what Drake wrote first. Maybe he didn't. Mm. We don't know. Like I don't yeah. know. Maybe we'll find out later. But it's just a vibe. So it's like, I just always look at that. I'm like, yo, so you got to track with this guy. You gotta, so which one's better? And then I'm like, okay, Drake. So I'm like, all right. Well, that's not going to determine the whole album, but I mean, yeah, it's kind of a good indicator. Yeah, you for see sure. What I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But uh, moving on, moving on from that, um, you know, we don't need to talk about Drake all night, but, uh, <laughs> the, you know, let's talk about the next legend in the story. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need him calling in. Like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> I know you're talking. I'm at the window. No, I'm just kidding. No, but uh, so... You know, for you guys that might not know, if you guys are tuning in, you guys might not know this. You know, Lotus has been in the game for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Been rapping, been doing this, been doing that, shows, this and that and the other. Um, I first came to her about Lotus probably a year ago, two years ago, maybe. Um, I was at Bar Spitter, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I think it was, it was probably even Kenzo that mm, actually probably sent probably, me a track. Yeah, yeah, and was yeah. like, yo, yo, check this out. And, you know, this guy, oh, check, this, gonna, this guy's going to be part of my super group, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, boy band. <laughs> yeah, but he's super proud of that, you know what I mean, which mm. is dope. Like, no, 100%. Yeah, but, uh, and he sent me, and I was like, jeez, I was like, yo, yeah. like, this guy's, like, when he sent me all the members, all their stuff, I think there was, 
uh, there was one person that that stood out to me that I did or no two I I wasn't feeling at first like this is at first first yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like oh, I don't know about B one at first mm. and then Philly I was like Kenzel's like this guy's the best guy in Canada yeah yeah, yeah this yeah, is yeah. better this guy's better than Drake you yeah, know yeah, sends yeah, me yeah. the song and I'm like I mean <laughs> you know what I mean but yeah, that's the no, thing I think he was overhyped a bit maybe yeah, too so course. when I when I'm playing it I'm like yeah. now now I'm comparing it to Drake yeah exactly thanks buddy course, you know what I mean no but. I, uh, then after hearing more of their stuff, I was like, shit, like B1's yeah. a fucking pen, penist. Yeah. Pen, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the lyricist. He's a pe- He's got the penmanship. He's a penist, yeah. He's a penist, you know, penis. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, no, he's a good dude too. But uh, he makes solid stuff. He's, I mean, he's fucking mixing everyone's shit. Yep. He's, you know, doing all that stuff. And then Philly, I just, you know, started hearing just tons of his stuff. Not only can he sing amazing. Yeah. Guy's got bars for days. He can rap. His flow very unique and stuff. Mm-hmm. But then, like, bro, like, KP's always stood. I've known KP and Stitch for years. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. they're always going to stand out, right? Yeah. But, man, when I heard your shit, I was like, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you guys needed that, like, element. It's like, because B1, yeah. B1 has that sound, mm-hmm. but the lyrics aren't quite, like, are, aren't street, per se. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah, has the yeah. sound, the vibe, which is great. Yeah. Because there's a huge lane for that. Yeah. That's like a commercial lane that, like, that's where you want to be, in, in a yeah. sense. Almost your stuff, you almost have to tone it down a bit yeah. to get to B1's level to yeah. try to hit that commercial lane. Yeah. Because your shit's too gritty. Yeah. You're too grimy. In yeah, a, in, yeah, yeah. Not, not in no, a bad no, no, way, in exactly. a good way. For a marketability thing. <laughs> for a marketability yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. right? Exactly. So when I heard your shit, I was like, fucking right. You guys needed yeah. this. Yeah, you guys, yeah, y'all yeah. needed this. You know, I swear to God. <laughs> no, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, brother. So so big up. But tell us about, you know, a little bit about your story because I don't even know your full story. So yeah, you know, yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me know like where it started to where you're at now. Um, So... I've been I've been I've been dabbling with like writing and shit forever like same kind of cliche stories everybody else oh I was writing since I was 12 and all that shit I really started kind of getting serious about music about uh 2007 okay um I was in a group actually uh, ironically enough I was in a group based out of Brampton for um three or four years and we were actually doing very well like what was the group well. called Cream Team. Okay. It's the cheesiest name ever, bro. Hey. But same thing. I also had a I was also called O Dizzle Man at one point. So O-Dizzle? I got a track record. You say O Dizzle? O Dizzle Man. Oh no. Dizzle Man. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Um this guy goes terrible. But but uh but so I, I did that. We did pretty well. This was like MySpace times. Um and then <sighs> groups are tough, as everybody I'm sure can imagine. So whatever, everybody kinda divvied up, did their own thing, then I kinda like fell back stop rapping then i got my own studio for my crib and since then i just been making music consistently right i didn't really still till now i'm just getting my feet wet with like really putting myself out there because mm. i didn't really give a fuck about associating with people like, right i did my shows and i did this and i did but, I, but i'm low-key like you know when we did the lunchroom poet show yeah like I, when it was time for a lunchroom to go on stage i'm trying to walk to the stage and people are looking at me like who the fuck are you Okay. Because word. they don't even they don't even put a face to it because I'm right. kind of you're not like, Yeah, you're not you're anti social media. Yeah, exactly. In a sense, and which I is kind of that's really what the social is almost these days. Like, yeah, it's not, weird. If you're not on social media nonstop, yeah. like even me, I hate being on social media. Yeah. But if I wasn't, like I wouldn't be able to what feed my do? family. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's exactly. So that's been my biggest setback. <laughs> so I'm starting to get the hang of it. But anyways, I've been yeah, dog. I've been rapping a long time. I've been in a lot of circles. I've been. You know, I was, I, I have, you know, I was in rooms with, with Solitaire for a while, was a big, a big influence of mine. Um, Solitaire was like kind of a, a coach for me. Okay. Um, and yeah, I've been, I've been around a lot, a lot of, a lot of OGs, like a lot of the environment and the group that I would, the, the people I was around. Mm-hmm. Um, the younger guys don't know them, but they were big behind the scenes. I know, you know, my old man, my per se kind of manager was part of, you know, bringing Red Life to the front lines okay you know swift Rock produced the project for me so a lot of the older guys that that a certain generation really recognizes what they are uh. this the new guys are like i don't know who the fuck that is but but like that's where your influence technically is is from not just that obviously there's mainstream but as from like an underground artist like trying to get into the scene yeah. and be a rapper you were kind of in the right in the right hands in yeah. a sense at the beginning yeah so that kind of comes out in your sound now yeah um being able to adapt to the new age too mm. and kind of having more of a conscious sound now than bars 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 yeah. i'm gonna hit you with some punch lines now you're like more conscious lyrical i find um because I, I heard lotus the fuck lotus one, yeah 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 fuck lotus two now i know you're working on fuck lotus three yeah. but comparison from fuck lotus one to two yep. it's like night and day yeah like yeah. um i think it was called Oh man, that's why I wanted to have the case too. I think it's called it's other is it so high or my high or what is it? Uh most high. Most high. Yeah. Well, yeah I knew yeah, there was an yeah, M yeah. yeah, most high. 
uh, the song Most High to me stood out so hard as yeah. like, like to me that was the best song on the album. Mm -hmm. um, but it stood out to me as in like old school hip hop. Mm -hmm. And it did, I didn't really hear a new school sound to it, and I just loved it. I loved mm -hmm. how it sounded like Royce the Five Nine, and not even Eminem, but Royce the Five Nine, and who the hell else is this guy? Kind yeah, of thing, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? yeah. Like, yo, this guy's sick. Because homie sounded like Royce, Young Dirt. Yo, that's my dog, Young Dirt. He's, he's from, fire, bro. He's from the Carolinas, and but, yeah, but the way you guys special, work, like bro. you guys should actually consider doing a little project. Yeah, yeah, man. EP, because the first record we did is still to this day one of my my most. Uh, Highly regarded in terms of writing, it's called mm. Soul Food. Me and him on the first project. I have to check that one out on on Fuck Lotus One. Okay, and so I heard it then. So I heard it, but it yeah. didn't stand out to me like the second yeah. one because yeah. everything on the second one stood out right well, away. Well, it's also much more polished. The That's what I mean. One, um, That's I had what... like a studio upgrade. My mixing got Who better. Who mixed that one? Me. I do all that. No way. Yeah, yeah, Sick, I do all that bro. Shit myself. So, so, I always, I always fuck with that. Like we had a, a guy that submitted a song yesterday, and like yeah, uh, actually it was it was um, Kripal. Oh okay, uh, and, and, cripple, 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 cripple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cripple, and uh, yeah. he, it, like, we watched the video, we rated this, and then I realized that he made the beat after, and yeah. I was like, oh yo, I gotta give him an extra point That's for fire, that. Yeah. Like, yeah, like yo, he made the beat, so I Can't always respect that, that man. Bro. The, making the, the beat, no, but I mean, I mean, if you can, if if you can engineer it and mix it, it's yeah. the same kind of thing. Like, I mean, they're all everything is a skill and an art in yeah. a sense. Like mixing is an art. Like it's back to B one. If, if people don't understand that, then you don't know. Yeah. music per no 100 you know percent. yeah it's, like that's b1 i know man. you do what i mean like if people watching like <laughs> if you don't are, like mixing mm. is actually such a good art like and um to, to move over to the next topic which uh, i wanted to talk to you about which is timeless which mm. is oh, that's just the song right yeah off of an album that's coming up so we're doing a i guess an ep i don't know what everything's classified right as. whatever six or seven songs. i always just call it an album like yeah. a record yeah, exactly. Like, I'd rather project. just call it a record, yeah, like because that's go. an old school term that yeah. means like the project, like not yeah, exactly. not just one song. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Like nowadays you call a record one song. Like, oh, oh, that's yeah. a record, like you know, or whatever. Anyways, but yeah, yeah. Timeless. So timeless that song. So I guess D Devious mixed that yeah. one. Though? No, so D we got like a weird situation because let so, me hear that. I want to hear that breakdown. So Devious, Devious does the production. I do my vocals. So I send him. Um, I'm very particular with the way my vocals sound. I have an issue with engineers. Sometimes I get under their under their skin a little bit because I'm very particular with the way my voice is supposed to sound. So I sent my mixed vocals to Devious, and then he does everything around it. So right. like the 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 dark like deep tone stuff was that you mixing that? That's oh no, him? that's him adding in after. So, he's, so he, I don't he, do he that. Did, stuff. He did the polishing of it. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. so you you get your vocals to that like uh, you kind of send compressed. him like here's yeah. here's my flat vocal. Yeah. Everything's already mixed. My yeah, backups, yeah, yeah. my ad libs. Everything. This is how I want. Oh, my, I don't my, do any of that shit. Oh, so you send him the ad libs and he? I don't even do ad libs. Oh, you don't even do that. He did so. that. He does that. So what the way he'll do you do, do backups though? Nothing. So you just one layer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sick. I know it's too, a little little too modern, right? But I don't know if I go really. record with certain like if I get a record where somebody wants me to feature on it, um, and then they want backups. Like, they did that. Then I'm gonna do that to match it, right? But like some of my songs, I'll add ad libs, but that's it. I don't do any doubles, backups. I get it. It's not necessarily industry standard. It's mm. just it's not for my my ear doesn't pick it up. Right. And if they're there, they might be there, but they're so low you can't tell. Mm. Right. I I just I I mix um, based on what I hear now in modern music. Right. I listen to some of the golden era hip hop, and people love it. The mix, I think it's I hate it. Like I mm. listen, uh, Jay Z's my favorite rapper. Right. Right. I listen to Jay Z mixes, and you can hear his doubles <coughs> high and things on some sound. tracks. <coughs> A lot of them. A lot of them. Yeah, but <coughs> on some tracks, I like I like how like some some old Jay. You hear, you'll hear some raw takes and stuff and like mm -hmm. a lot of people say that and i mean he used to claim that he was a big freestyle punch in or, yeah right so i, I kind of like that i used to adapt that style back when i used to rap because mm -hmm. jay-z was has been one of my favorite rappers forever if you had yeah. to pick who would you say your number one is like of all time yeah it's weird because i it's like it's either like a jay-z or a jadakiss those are my two yeah. favorites yeah, like those are my two all-time favorites. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like no Pac or Biggie or any of this. Like I, you know, I put them high or whatever. But like for me, I'm I'm, not, I'm a big Jay Z. Um, I mean, obviously Eminem comes in there up somewhere because I was just I just used to really like M. But like yeah. I have random ones too, like Fifty Cent and Ludacris and like mm -hmm. 
you know, like there's lots of guys that I rate, you know, pretty highly and, uh, you know, Nas and, you know, and like nowadays we got like, you know, Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole's like there's just so many. Too many. yeah. And it's hard to give you like a top five or something. But like my favorites, like if I'm going to go put on some music, I'm listening to Jay-Z. I'm listening yeah. to Jadakiss. Like yeah. those are, that's my go to. I'm looking for some the old Eminem and Jada tracks or like, you mm. know what I mean? Or something like that. Like, you know, yeah. I, I like that, like the Welcome to D-Block track. Yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah, that was like, my old favorite like, track. Welcome to D-Block, the Mighty yeah, 90 D-Block. D-block. Yeah, Eminem shredded yeah, that. Yeah. 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 But Jada um, just, Jada, I just, for me, like, it, it's tough between Jada and uh, Jay-Z for me. Those, yeah. are the, those are the two that it's like, if you were like, yo, which one's your favorite? I'd be like, fuck, it's hard, right? But yeah. I don't know, man. I just like how Jadakiss is so smooth with it and just so polished mm. and his shit just seems like effortless and just clean. Yeah. But then Jay seems like he actually tried hard, but it doesn't sound like he tried yeah, hard. Yeah, like, I don't yeah. know how to explain it. Like, he's Jay-Z's so, yeah, he's impressive. Like, his Jay-Z's pen different. game's different. Yeah. I, in my opinion, better than Jada's. Yeah. But Jada's is a different style. So, like, like some days I want to listen to Jada's. It's, it just depends on the mood. Jada's you know? just more to me, very. Sh- like, so, like, my, fa- my favorite yeah. rapper yeah. of all time, Styles P. Okay. That's my favorite. Because he's got just, the more unorthodox flow. And, yeah, and, and you know what's so yeah. funny? I was going to actually, I was going to get into that next. Was yeah, I was going to say, who are your actual influences? Mm-hmm. Like, right? Because mm-hmm. I was going to say artists that you remind me. And I hate to like compare people to no, people. No, but it is what it but is. But I swear to God earlier, because I was like, who, who would I compare? Because I was going to ask you who your influence is. Yeah, or who yeah. you would you compare your shit? And I'm like, who would I compare it to? Mm-hmm. Styles P was the first thing that came to my head. Yeah. But it's like, not so much. It's, it's like a Styles P mixed with Jay-Z, bro. Yeah. Like, to be honest. It's, and you have more of like a Jay-Z flow mm-hmm. but like a styles p writing style yeah you know what i mean yeah, that's what it, that's what i get from it yeah. yeah uh yeah my big if we're gonna go to influences mm-hmm. though um I, I don't know how like, we're going smooth it seems like everything's just flowing into everything right we're good you're, you're yeah. good at this bud thanks brother <laughs> um yeah i got a weird category of like of influences to be honest with you because like the reason that i rap like everybody else has like you know not the same, but I, oh, Biggie, or I fell in love with Tupac, or Eminem, right. or whatever. Bro, I'm be 100% honest, Nelly's the reason I rap. Sick. Country Grammar's the first... See, there's another guy I could have mentioned back when I was talking about 50 yeah. Cent, and these guys, Nelly, so, man, yeah. Nelly's one of the... Not one of, he's the reason I rap. Him, mm. him When I first heard... Like, I listened to hip-hop a country little bit. Country Grammar, though. But Country Grammar, yeah, when yeah. I heard Country Grammar for the first time, yeah. I was like, whoa, You can whoa, find whoa. me in St. Yeah. Louis. I love the yeah, swag yeah, yeah. on that, man. You can like, find just me in St. Louis. What a gun play rain Rains all, all day. day. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah so I love that's, that track. That's no, yo, the, honestly, that album... Yeah. One of the best albums, bro. One of the I, best I, I had the hard copy. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I remember buying it. I remember, yeah. like, playing it. I remember looking at the artwork. I yeah. remember listening to every song, knowing all the words. Yeah. Like, now certain songs will come on, and I don't really yeah, remember. Yeah, of course, yeah. The St. Yeah. Lunatics part. Or yeah. Like, but, you know, like. But at the time, yeah, no, and that's. <laughs> at so, the time, I knew it, yeah. So Nelly, and then, I don't know, like, I grew up, my mom's, I mean, like, I'm a white boy, right? Like, I think the majority of our stories are the same. My mom listened to, like, classic, classic rock. rock and shit. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. my. Outside of hip hop, I'd say one of my favorite artists of all time is Tracy Chapman. And no way, yeah, sick. it's weird, but no, it's not like, really. Very good soulful music. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and, it, and her writing style for me is what I yeah. think it, what does it. I um, see that. I I'm see big that. on like a maybe not as as I, I used to be different, but now I'm big on witty. Like witty's my goal. My mm. goal. I don't want like I say it now, and I, and I stand by it. I say that fuck Lotus Two project. There's more wordplay in that project. If I sat down and showed you, I want to do the genius. Have you, have you, okay, so you haven't heard of my new show that I'm about to launch then. Mm. I'm doing it with Stitch. I'm trying to make okay. Stitch my co host. Okay, okay. So I'm meeting with him this week, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's called Bar Theory. That, oh, that's wow. what the, that's what the show is going to be called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to bring on guests, right? We're going to break down their bars. Okay. So we're going to be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, we, we pick. What other we get you to pick a few, yeah, we pick yeah, a few, yeah. whatever it is, but we want you to break down your opinion. And then what we do is we take some of your favorite artists, yeah, and then we show you their bars and we get you to try to break down, yeah, what, how you think, interpret it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then at the end of it, you drop five, like it's like a five fingers of death style freestyle, freestyle yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. of the episode. So you get That's to come it. in, break down some bars of your own, yeah, break down your favorite artists, like Jay Z's, like you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Bar. maybe I Drake one up just to piss Ken off, yeah, and then, you know what I mean, <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and then you at the end you just drop some flows. So that's gonna be coming soon, and hopefully it's gonna be at the video studio that we're gonna be partnered up with. Which I'm, wow. I'm talking a lot of stuff right that's now. That's a wicked that novel. nobody knows about. Hey, so if you guys exclusive. are paying, if you got exclusive. exclusive. So if you guys are paying attention, I've been dropping exclusives because you know what? I want the people that are in the community to know anyway. Yeah. So then at least you guys know what's coming up. Mm -hmm. So then when you see it, you know what's up. You can anticipate it a little bit. But other people that have no fucking clue and they're not paying attention, yeah. they're just gonna get hit with it. Yeah. Because because now that's a wicked idea, bro. Bar, th that's bar theory, that's super. Bro. Dope. We we had a few other names. We had a couple other people hit us up with about different names and stuff like that. But then we ended up with Bar Theory, and I yeah. love the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to do it with Stitch would be smart. You know what I mean? He's yeah. he's the Connect the Dot champion yep. right now. Like he he won the last finals that we had. Uh, yeah, Connected yeah. Dot on the yacht or whatever it was. And uh, you know he's been a fucking friend of mine and working with me forever. So I just think he's you know for for a guy like Stitch, you know, he like this is a perfect opportunity for him. To come on a show, like get, have his own show, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and just uh, and further his stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, no, hundred yeah. percent. And that's what this whole and platform and, is about. And Stitch, um, the one thing about so we have different writing styles. Like, like I said, I think my sure. biggest, I'm the witty, and there's nobody. I've written with a lot of rappers, right. a lot of rappers. There's nobody that is more punchline dense than Stitch, and it just is what it is. Oh, for sure. Like I said, I'm not a punchline guy. Like I'm, I'm more, se, yeah. I like the witty. Mm -hmm. I like, I like dig through it mm -hmm. and that's what i was saying about like the fuck lows too i think it has not necessarily the most punch lines not no but the most wordplay out of any project of the last year in my opinion and hold on let me ask you a question um to jump away from that a little bit but jump like onto the lotus mm -hmm. record um all those beats oh uh, so industry beats i know so why when are we getting an album that's all fuck lotus three baby Fuck Lotus 3. All originals. Nice. I've started already. That's what I want to hear because I, when I was listening to it, I was like, yeah. I was like, why? Like, <laughs> well, this, but so, I, I, I fuck with it because you kind of have to do that. And I like well, how people are doing that. that more now, though. Well, that's what it no is. no one was doing me, that for yeah, so, so long. For me, it was like an ode to the traditional mixtape. It's like we went out of this. Like, I grew up on that. Wayne. Yeah, like, that pocket is not even there anymore. Like, Wayne like, mixtape opening back up. raised me. Yeah, yeah. this is the thing. Is so, the Banks ones. I used to fuck yeah. with the Lloyd Banks ones, the G-Unit ones. Yeah, so that. the idea of Wayne doing ones, it, yeah. is, it was almost like, it's dumb, I get it, because, well, I got lucky and I put most of them on streaming platforms. So, like, Fuck Lotus 2 is on streaming platforms. Yeah. How I got away with it, couldn't tell you. Whatever. So, if Spotify, there. you're listening, it's not on there. Um, <laughs> but... Um, the idea for i think the way that that i view it was it was almost like a flex it was like i'm giving you this much bar dent shit yeah on a fucking mixtape this yeah. is essentially throwaway records yeah so that's why the, the build up like i said on say what's real almost every single word on that verse if i brought you and i broke it down to mm. you almost every single word has a meaning and, right. and there's a reason it's there mm. almost every single, and it's like a three and a half minute verse <coughs> right right so the idea is is that not everybody's gonna catch it it's not like you know i hit him like uh boom insert blah, blah, punch blah. line yeah it's yeah it's like it's you, you gotta know, listen to it you gotta play it back yeah it's got playback value stuff yeah. like that yeah and that, know, that's one thing like, uh, well like for me fuck it i've been listening to hip-hop forever and i'm a yeah. I, I like lyrics so yeah 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 i caught most of it like mm. right, right away but not, not in a bad way no no, way. no no yeah no, like, no, i'm no, paying for attention sure, for sure. you know that's sure. all yeah no 100%. so and i fuck with it i'm like yo like i, I can't even i should have probably wrote down a few examples but this yeah. ain't bar theory with it don't worry bar theory yeah we bring you back on bar theory yeah don't worry i'm gonna hit you with some stuff yeah because i'm gonna ask some questions no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but um, I, I was like, first of all, I was like, Shh, that's what my, that's why I was like the Jay Z and the Styles P came to my head because mm. I was like the unorthodox flow. Yeah. So your writing style is what I'm talking yeah, about, yeah, not yeah. necessarily the way you're spitting it, because like I was yeah. saying, more like more or less your flow and the way you sounding and the way you're spitting it sounded more like a Jay Z than a Styles. Yeah. But you could tell the pen game was more unorthodox, yeah. which is also 100%. still kind of like Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah, Jay Z yeah. does have that unorthodox, but it Weird, is a little yeah. bit more well polished, definitely yeah. more than Styles. Yeah, oh yeah. Styles yeah. doesn't even yeah. rhyme and shit half the time. <laughs> He's like the um, a homie from Mob Deep. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fuck, he don't even care. Yeah. He's like, yeah, little blood, get on my daughter's <laughs> nun, she live. It's like dog got right, that had nothing to do with just what just happened. It didn't rhyme. But it sounded amazing. But it and sounded sick, and I'll face. fuck with you, yeah. and I want to buy your shirt, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and your album. No, yeah. but I used to fuck with Mob Deep too. That was yeah. that was I was heavy on Mob Deep. See, back there's certain day. like traditional groups that yeah. I, bro, I get crucified. Like me, I'm gonna be honest. Wu Tang yeah. is not for me, dog. It yeah. just isn't. I like Wu Method Man. I feel like Wu Tang's not for everyone. Um, yeah, like a Method Man. Like there's certain yeah. artists Method in Man Wu Tang. Like, like even like for instance, like Old Dirty Bastard. Yeah, he's more of a party track kind of yeah. guy. Like you have fun with it. You'll listen to it at the pool party or something yeah, and yeah, have yeah. fun with it. But it's not like you're not putting that album on to yeah. like fucking vibe out and fucking. 100%. You know what I mean? But a Method Man one, 
maybe if you're going to the gym or if it's yeah. at a party or whatever like it's gonna play yeah you know what i mean but yeah certain well rizza was i don't know I like, i'm a rizza fan but see i'm not I like yeah. i don't really but i i i'm, I'm surprised actually just because of how unorthodox his flow it's are. the same with but it's the old school sound I well like. it's maybe like it's not good enough sounding for you no you, you it's, need, it's like, just even polish. even yeah it's not even i guess it's like i compare it to like the athlete right like it's uh. like Yo, there's never debating like, okay, Michael Jordan's the greatest of all, whatever, right, one of right, the greatest right, of all. Right. The difference is, to me, is that humans have advanced, bro. Right. So shit that yeah, it's a different game. You yeah, have yeah, to yeah. give them, I you have to give them the respect for yeah, you did it first or whatever. For sure. Yeah. But this shit, like, bro, jumping from the free throw line, people are doing in high school now. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. It's and like, RZA still makes the same sounding music. Yeah, yeah. But like, obviously, it's a little bit more polished now, a but little bit or whatever. But it's his but it's sound. Still, yeah, he still tries yeah. to sound like old yeah. school. Which well, again, to each their own, right? Like, it's cool though to like, you know be able to have a rap career and make music that you personally just like. And everyone oh, likes different music, right? Yeah. So maybe that's just what he, he's an old head, super yeah. old head. Like we call ourselves old heads. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, our yeah, old yeah. heads. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's our old yeah, heads, old yeah, head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those, those types of shit. So it's I like, get killed for my MF Doom takes. Like, rest in peace. Like, I don't want to speak ill right, on that. Right, but right. I, he's never been for me. No, I've I never understood you. it. A lot of those old school rappers yeah. that everyone like is like, oh, la, 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 la. Yeah. I'm the same. Like, I'm, I'm like, what? You guys, I feel like a lot of people are just saying that shit too. Like, just to be like, oh, yeah, I'm a hip hop head like I like this guy that's what I feel like though like, like I really feel like Inspector Deck like yeah, people, oh I nah. like Inspector Deck nah, yo I'm oh good. yeah I'm a woo head for yeah. sure I have all his albums I'm like yeah. dog every one of those are trash yeah exactly I couldn't listen to a song yeah yeah you know what I mean but then there's guys that's like the Sticky Fingers and shit yeah. which is like uh, like someone will be like yo, I'll, I'll play that all day but it's yeah. like unorthodox weird sounding it's not the yeah. regular shit but uh, anyways moving on from that so what do you got coming up next on the plate? Like, what do you? I know you got albums instead of albums, but like, let's move on. To like, maybe some shows. Like, what do you got for like your marketing strategies? Like, what do you got coming up that you're about to do? Mm. Do you have any plans or like right now not so much? It's kind of work mode. Uh, well, so me and Devious, that's the me and D. Shout out to Devious. Shout out to Devious, by yeah. the way. He was supposed to be here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know we yeah. talked about him a bit, but we were yeah. kind of caught up in convo. But shout out to Devious. Yeah. Uh, he couldn't be here. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. you know, we'll have him on the podcast. Like, whether you come back with him or yeah. I'll have him by himself. Figure it out. Or, yeah. But uh, he's the producer yeah, <clears throat> slash so, mastermind a bit behind yeah, the yeah. visuals too, no? Uh, no, so no? the visuals was, uh, shout out to Kenzo. Kenzo shot it, B1 edited it. Okay. Um, so me and him had one or two records from before that Devious hit me up to work on. Um, and we did this one um, called The Game, which to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of, but it did I heard really it. well. It I heard did it. Like, yeah, like it's not really my favorite song. It's all right. Um, I, it wasn't as good as the Timeless. Yeah, so... It's but it did like numbers. I don't understand how. Uh, yeah. Maybe Devious is a marketing whiz. I don't know. I don't deal with like it's on his page. Right. But it's got like twenty two or twenty three thousand streams or something. Nice. So he's like, look, and you know he has a couple records that do okay, but it seems like that's the biggest between the both of us, right? Right. So he's like, yo, this this worked really well. Let's let's do something together. Let's do a project. So he fired me a, a few beats to start off with. I got the intro done. Um, and then after that, the rest was history. So we're about, I think we were five done and we have six to seven total. We haven't decided if it'll be six <coughs> or seven, but the sound like sonically, everything matches up with timeless in a sense. Mm, so it's sick. all got a kind of dark at atmosphere. I think that, vibe. uh, timeless song is mm. the, the best song I have. I, I, cause I went back and I just, yeah, started yeah, yeah. Listening. I've listened to songs here and there. Like, yeah, of course. You know, the yeah. six buzz one and like, yeah, stuff, yeah, like yeah, yeah. a bunch of stuff that you put out in the six past. Six buzz is just ignorant. Yeah. That shit was funny though. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit was dope to me. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> when I heard Timeless, I was like, this is it. Yeah. Like you put out an album like that and then then apply for the grants. Yeah. You know what I mean? That type of shit. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know that you've had some uh issues and some success Factor. and some issues. Yeah. And some, Let's, let's just touch on that quick just for the people just a little yeah. bit of just just a, honestly it's kind of an educational thing too in a sense yeah, no, because you sure. know you have your take on it i have my take uh -huh. on it yeah. so so let's talk about it a bit uh we know we talked about it off cam but so you got yourself a, a you know a couple factor much factor 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 factor, factor. factor grants in the past and yeah. uh like so tell me about your experience with it um yeah so i had a manager i to be honest with you i was young i was probably i'm gonna say 18 right 18 or 19 and uh my manager we put together a package pitched for it and we got one and then we got another one mm -hmm. and uh i still stand on it the way that it was handled i don't like the way that it was like they're trying to tell me it's uh they're gonna take it off my taxes and all anyways neither here nor there so we got the grants and then in my paperwork it said cash counted and then it said cash didn't count and there was all these things and there was all these 
people contacting me, harassing me for a little to what I perceive is a little bit of money, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? And my issue was, like I said, at the time, you're giving out. I can see where the money's going. You mm-hmm. can go on their website and see who's getting money. Yeah. And what I'm seeing, you're giving it to people that are very, very, very successful and don't mm-hmm. need 25 grand for video. Right, right. It was like, yo, you're harassing me over whatever it was, $2,500 for the first one, a little bit more, whatever. I can't even remember the numbers. Were. Whatever it was, yeah. But it was like, bro, you're harassing me, right. chasing me down for this, telling me mm-hmm. you're going you're gonna to tax me on this and shit. Mm-hmm. Because essentially, whatever, it could be my fuck up, it could be their fuck up. Now, now, did they give you money first? <coughs> Sorry, did they give you money first? No, I spent front? money first. Then you had to bring back receipts, right, yeah. to get the money. Yeah. No, 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 I didn't have to bring back any receipts first. They so gave this- me my check, and then they said, okay, good to go. And then after they came, that's what I'm saying, I got audited before right. I didn't have to provide any of right, that shit. Right, right. So, so it's funny because this is this is why I wanted to talk with you about it, mm-hmm. too, because... Um, it's and it's so because I'm running a thing called Capture Films Academy. Yeah, yeah, ju- yeah, just launched it. Just started up like posting stuff about it. Yeah. Um. So one of the big things that I just talked about was the grants, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I was giving some people like a little bit of advice and a little bit of guidance on how to and who's yeah, eligible yeah, yeah. and this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. But one thing I didn't really get to get too too into is. Um, you know, my story about what, when I did talk about my first grant, actually, which it was another episode, uh, little video that I released as well. Yeah. Um, I talked about the nightmares that I had on set, just on set fundamentals, nothing to do with the grant side of thing, but that was our first grant and it was a big grant and the paperwork on that grant, I learned a lot from, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had a very similar situation with you. Um, the amount was a lot and, How uh, much? It was like twenty five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thousand. Yeah. yeah. No. No. I know. Yeah. I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, video yeah. grants are different, bro. It's yeah. different. It was a Jada Kiss video, right? Yeah. Okay. That, so that was my first. That was yeah, my yeah, first yeah, yeah. ever grant video, or whatever. Right. Yep. So like, I felt like I was like done. I was like, I could retire, put my feet up. And <laughs> I did though. I were. Yeah, I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, and I was like, yeah. oh, and I'm like, no, nah, wait, I didn't yeah. do one for Jay yet. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. I want to do one for Drake. I want to do one for Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'd love to do some stuff with like that. Set the sights high. That's what you have to do. But anyway, so the big thing that I didn't really talk about was the crazy amount of paperwork that we didn't really do we kept a lot of the receipts but not all of the receipts mm. and we, there was like a lot of stuff and, and like all the stuff like you said like it pops up later on you right so what's really important and like i want to like kind of just let people know that are yeah, watching and stuff sure. like that and like i'm sure you know now yep. is is and what i do now um is every single thing to do with this project now like it's very smart to actually open up its own separate bank account even if you have a business account you can open up like a separate like checking account yeah. or an, an extra account right just to manage that money yeah so every single dollar that's brought in and every single dollar that's spent has gone through that account so then later mm-hmm. on you can actually just get a printout yeah so when factor comes knocking you just yep. hand them you the paperwork and piece. you have an envelope yeah, yeah, yeah. with receipts hand it off yep. and you're literally you go back and you just know that the money's there yeah, yeah and yeah. you don't worry about it so you don't know that when you first get the money though yeah, nobody's yeah, yeah, there yeah. to tell you no one's there to hold your hand yeah, and be yeah, like hey yeah, let's yeah. go to the fucking store and get you the candy right yeah, like yeah, no yeah. you got to go to the store yourself figure out what the story is get the fucking candy yeah, yeah and then you don't have money so you have to steal it yeah <laughs> i guess it's like for me it's like the bigger picture of it is is like recognizing what the budgets you're talking about uh-huh. and it's a little i guess it's a little insensitive too to people who like you know fifteen hundred dollars will help Right. But for, for me, sure. for me, what I've the way I view it, like I said, just speaking for me, I don't yeah. want to undervalue. Of course. Else no, because, absolutely. But as I get older, I used to think fifteen hundred dollars was groundbreaking money. You know what I'm saying? But to be honest, and with now you, I'm yeah, like in the music bro, industry, it is like, no, no, I get that. Yeah. And I'm saying. But now as I get older and I'm more established in my life, mm. in my wherever I'm in my life, I like I said, I get it. A struggling artist is different than me. I have an established situation. Right. But now to avoid all the headaches. Bro, I'll just fucking give you fifteen hundred dollars. Like that's right. the way that my brain operates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that it's put different. a bad taste in my mouth. And I gotta stand. It's different than saying, "Yo, I got twenty five bands for a video." Cause yeah, fam, I don't got twenty five bands for a video. That's a hard one to pull off, anyways. It's funny because people don't realize that too. Mm. Is that yeah, you could apply for that twenty five thousand yeah. dollar grant, but who's payrolling that twenty five thousand yeah. dollar video? Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of money. So yeah. you have to have that positive cash flow sitting 100%. there that you can literally just throw in and not and wait three six months yeah. to get that bread back. So yeah. no, they're pretty quick though on the turnaround with the money. They're pretty straight from from my experience with them. They're very good as long as you're on point. Yeah. They're 
are on point. And, yeah, and you know, yeah. I, and I've never had really bad experiences from them from, with that. But mm. I've heard nightmare stories, mm. you know, just quite like yours, especially people that are first getting grants. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, like, yeah. you know, you get on the site, you apply, you find the, the, that, that's not yeah, necessarily yeah. your experience. No, but exactly. But a lot saying, of people, yeah. they get on, they apply, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. Oh, they got their business number, they send it in. Yeah. They're like, yo, you're approved. They're like, woo! Like they yeah, celebrate yeah, popping yeah, bottles. Yeah, like they think they made it. I'm just too, I guess. like, brother, you. there's a lot of work left. Like, and that money is technically not anything to do with yours. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. gotta like tech like right that, no, that's money that's, for everything yeah. exactly so yeah. but anyways uh long story short f- factor could be good could be bad but be prepared no yeah perfect that's a perfect way to put right. it for me it's like a, a patience thing i just don't have the patience me for neither it, right i, I kind of hate grants yeah. but now that i'm applying for them for myself and you need it. I'm, I'm i'm being prepared yeah like that that's my yeah, yeah, mentally yeah, yeah. financially yeah, yeah, everything yeah. is just got to be prepared yeah and it's tough. You don't know it right away. Yeah, so, yeah, but yeah. now we're telling you guys some gems. Yeah, big That's facts. free. Make sure you free. do all your shit legit. Free man. For, for all y'all. Yeah, big facts. So uh, let, let's move on here. Like, uh, Do you have anything else you want to plug quick before we move into the um, reviews? Yeah, so we're doing, like I said, oh, yeah, the, the, Devious. Joint, the joint with Devious yeah. will be out like soon. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I don't have a date yet, but right. soon. And it's and it's it's, it's going to be well insane. put together. Yeah, probably could do a couple more videos. Um, Sick. And then fuck Lotus Three. I'm starting. I'm like, I'm. I'd yeah. like to have it done by the end of fall. The honey and, and season. Where are you is getting your season. beats from and stuff like that for that? Um, or just I'm just buying cool? them. Buying I've, them been buy, I've been buying them, or I have a few <coughs> producers that are willing to chip. But I'm being very specific. That's another. Yeah, you need reason. the right beats. Well, that's the big thing. That it's another issue that I've always ran into is like dealing with producers. Um, mm-hmm. um, I'm picky, and mm-hmm. it's like if it's not what I want, then yeah. I kind of like just crumble. I'm like, ah, you know, like. Or I just, oh, yo, my bad, I've been busy. It's mm. like a bad way to move, but that's how I function. You know what I'm saying? So for me, i just been selective. I'm going to find in the beats that I want. I don't care if I have to spend a couple dollars on them, then I will. Mm-hmm. It's going to sound right. You know what Dope. I'm saying? And then, that's and, then, it. and then what about like uh, shows? Oh, yeah, September 18th show. We're doing yeah. a show on Oshawa with my dog Eddie Jones and Pound right. Banda. And he was just um, on the show recently. Yep. Eddie, and, uh, Big yeah, Eddie. Man, Big Eddie Jones. Yeah, man, that's yeah. the man right there. That's right. That's my dog. So, yeah. so uh, that show is going to be at... I can't remember the name of the venue. Okay, but it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's in Oshawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's floating around. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's Eddie dope. knows. Eddie knows. So that's your first doing. show back. That's like everyone's yep. first show back that's yep. involved in that show probably. Yep. Now, um, does everybody have to be like double vaxxed and all that shit for that show or what? I have no idea. Yikes. I don't think so because yeah. I think it falls before everything happens. Is September it before 18th? the 22nd? Yeah. Oh, so, so you're good. So, you're good. I think we're <laughs> so we're going to super spread Jeez. right before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's in there just like, yo, yo, licking doorknobs and shit. Like, fucking, yo. 100%. Doc, why is that guy licking the fucking yo, front door handle? I don't me. know, man, but there's a guy in the bathroom doing the yeah. same fucking thing, bro. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's not a good look, man. No. Well, I'm talking about Oshawa. We're talking yeah. about Oshawa bars. So, yeah. like, yeah. Oh, 100%. That could actually be yeah, happening. Yeah, I would. It's zero debate. Yeah, if it's at the Atria or something. Like, I don't know. I hope, <laughs> I don't I hope it's not the there. No, it's not I don't even know, bro. No, Atria's hardcore. It's bro. like a jazz bar or some shit, I but, think. But, uh, yeah. okay, they had, uh, Atria, though, they had a fucking deer go through the front window. So just be careful down there, downtown Oshawa. Jesus. All man. right, so, yeah, oh word. That God. shit was crazy. All right. So let's get into these uh, song reviews. Let's do it. And so basically, guys, on the show, every week, we get into some local music canadian content and what happens is artists submit the songs to me we play them here we give them our first initial reaction and reviews we rate them out of five mics each we alternate who goes first i'll go first to begin it then mm-hmm. you know we'll go back and forth and then after that we see who you know got the best mics and we move on you know what i mean we give a little bit of feedback stuff like that you know it's just Good. about to just trying to help the people grow and stuff like that you know we don't we're not out here trying to like rip people down and Crush shred dreams. them up but you know at the same time we are giving honest feedback and you know if you get a one you get a one if you get a five you get a five take it in stride you yep. know it's all love so all right let's get into it so we're gonna get down here. We have five artists to submit tonight. Our first artist of the night is Arrow and OBG Hustle. Uh, before we get into that, yo, what do you? So uh, the drink was good, but what about the warheads, bro? These are fire. These are fire. super duper duper. Yo, oh, I wanted to me save you these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save. Sorry, I saved you too because uh-huh. I'm jumping into these too. Yeah, those are fire. Those, yo, those are ridiculous. Bro, I love fire. candy. I'm not those a chocolate are guy, really. Stupid. I'm not really a chocolate. Me guy. neither. I actually hate. Well, other than Reese's peanut butter. Yeah. Reese's, yeah, Reese's peanut butter cups, bro. I fucking that gave me high cholesterol. This looks kinda- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At 16, but yeah, mm-hmm. no. Um, Warhead. Yo, these are a fire. You yeah. weren't lying. Yeah, the Warhead Sour Twist. Yo, if you're in Durham region, you can go get these at Taunton Country Variety, right Ooh. at Taunton Road. All this shit right here is all from my homie at Taunton Country Variety. Dog. Normally we have super vendors. They have the same stuff. If you're in Mississauga or if you want to order online, but Taunton Country Variety. If you're in Durham, go check them out. Drink. Yeah, right. Bruh. Yeah. 
Dog. Yo, real shit. All the snacks, you. all the drinks, five out of fives. Bro. Five. This right here. Fire. Dog. The best chocolate you've ever eaten, no? Bro, no, dead ass. No, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not, not even kidding. exaggerating. Yo, me too, I swear to God. Holy. That's no cap. Holy. Like, that's bro. better than Reese's peanut butter cups to me. Oh my. Oh, this one's all melty yeah, even, and I still don't give a fuck. That's I'm on eat you. That's on you. <laughs> all right, let's get into it, man. Enough talking it. about the snacks. My bad. Let's get into mm. this. All right, so we're going to listen to The Hook. And the first verse. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we run the, 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 the hook twice Otherwise, if it's at yeah. the beginning and the end or whatever. We'll do that. But all right, let's get into mm -hmm. it. So the track's called Hustle, featuring Jasper Shreds. Mm -hmm. Official video. So we're rating the, the song and video. Yeah. They ain't fucking with my hustle. Making money but a bus load. You don't really wanna scuffle. Nobody busting it like us though. They ain't fucking with my hustle. I'm making money but a bus load. You don't really wanna scuffle. Nobody busting it like us though. They ain't fucking with my hustle. I'm making money but a bus load. You don't really wanna scuffle. Nobody busting it like us though So they ain't fucking with my hustle And I'm the reason that the game cut through 5 a.m. in the morning as I puff smoke Burning like a sunstroke Vision like a tunnel Hauling like a tugboat So many places that I must go See my face from the front go Reminiscing about the struggle Been a while since I had a tough go I could never get enough though Taking all the shots you see the gun smoke Gun smoke I ain't wasting a second I came to get it Refining reflection Stacking the blessings And spreading the message You need the checks And learning my lessons And finding the essence Of staying present Tiny piece of heaven Turn it up to 11 I'm fucking with the radar shine Fuck the rules I just play by mine So every day I feel it cool I can say I'm fine Now I see clearly with the naked eye I don't need you in my life So I just save my time I don't really need you I'm an independent Might get this big old dependent Round my neck That bitch be holding me down I don't really need a gun A cup of G-Wagon And fly around the world Like it be the Spanish shit Holding me down I don't need to make a million Mess with all the pretty women Just need a shorty The bitch you best Keep holding me down I don't I don't really need him, no, I don't really need him This is a bitch that keeps holding me down Alright, 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 so that's on me, that's on me I'll spark it, it off, I'll spark it off First all I want to say is Unexpected, like you look at this dude And yeah. you're like, hell no There's no way it's him, like who did, who's actually recorded yeah. this song yeah. Like the, the rhymes don't match the face kind of thing But yeah. yo, this kid is sick like yo, in my opinion, this is my opinion. Like, I man, he's got a good flow. Like his flow, I, I like what he did on the hook. Like it's hard to sing on a track and actually sound decent. Like and then he came through and rode the beat proper. Like I like how his flow wasn't like just one like you know monotone flow. Like it was kind of like you know up and down a little bit here and there. And yeah, man. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the video. Like I mean, it like it's a good video like whoever shot it did a good job filming it like the, the cinematography is good like it's clean and everything like that but i didn't like the boxing gym stuff like it was kind of like didn't really match the song to me i was like what's going on i like the mercedes stuff and i like mm. even like this stuff like this stuff's nice to me like all this like that would have made more sense to me like get it why are you in the boxing gym like that didn't make sense to me anyways but this yeah. other guy that came on it too i thought he was really dope too um and i thought it was funny as shit when he was in the studio and he yeah was like, that's because that yeah. he's because he was saying like um, you know, having lots of money and yeah. having the bitches, like it's not. I guess he's trying to say it's not about that. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean. But I like how he played that off and like he's the chick kind of thing, like fucking her blessings commercial. That was funny. <laughs> um, yo, I'm gonna give this one a solid four and a half though. Like based off the, and that's high for me. Like I don't usually go four and a half, especially off the rip. Like the, I, I honestly, if the video was slapping, I would have given this a five. Like I like this kind of song because it's like a conscious tune. It's like a, it's like a song that could be on the radio. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, I feel like the video missed a little bit, but uh, four and a half is a fucking solid score. And that's weird for me too, because I, I still, I'm still stand by the video is not my favorite. Like even a lot of the shots of him, like, I guess cause he's like, no offense. I'm not trying to diss the guy, but like, he's a little bit awkward kind of looking, you know what I mean? Like, so you got to have to film that way. Like you have yeah. to play around that in a sense, you know what I mean? You can't like make him look too serious. Right. Like, you know, like this is too much for me. Like give him a, you know, like, oh, what's that? Oh, I forget his name now. Anyways. There's lots of other ways you could have done it. But anyways, four and a half solid score, sending it off to you. What yeah. do you think, brother? Um, yeah, I don't know, dog. Not feeling <laughs> I'm it. I'm trying, bro. I'm yeah. trying. OBG's my guy. And yeah. like, 
the video you know what i agree it's shot it's shot pretty well but like this is where it, like it gets a little f dicey to me there's too much going on yeah we're at a boxing gym then yeah. we're at a studio being funny then we're in a car being serious then we're at the, the fucking, fucking lake, lake fishing yeah, yeah like it's too much it's like we try to do too much there's it's 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 like yeah and i agree like him he's hard to, to take seriously the song's not bad um but yeah i don't know bro i think I, i'm gonna be a little bit harder on it that's this. okay that's i good. think i'm probably gonna go like a two five two and a half yeah it's not bad hey it is what it is you know what yeah. i'm saying and i wish i could go more like i said obg hey that's the, still a seven out of ten the homie but yeah well hey, seven, you, you, you're carrying the score on that one hey that's that's so, fine because because the thing is is like you know everything is you know everyone's different right no, 100%. Like the next man might come in and give this a one 100%. somebody might come in and give it a straight five yeah me giving it a four or five is very weird yeah. for me this like i don't really give four or fives like that to be honest yeah. i just actually like the song but you know mm. again yeah i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at not a big fan of the video yeah but uh again shot well so yeah. let's get on to the next one. But yo, if you guys are checking it out, I want you guys to check it out because I want to know your guys' opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe what? Because we kind of had a pretty big. That's like yeah, we're way off on numbers. Yep. So what do you guys think? Uh, yeah, you know, comment down below what you guys thought. Go check out the video first. Come back and comment which video. Like, did you think it was dope? Would you have scored it above a three or below a three? That's the main question I want to mm. ask you. All right. So on to the next one. We're gonna go to Don Zai Rhodes. See it. Let's check it out. Now, I have never heard Don's Eyes music yet, I don't think, but let's check it out. Close my eyes and fall asleep to the vibe I let this music sail adrift to my mind flow with the tide These accolades and personas no longer characteristics of mine I just let it all go, no questions, doubts or regrets It's myself I had to find That journey is raw but that pain is sublime Had to look myself in the mirror and acknowledge the concept of time I no longer ask myself why brother <laughs> you gotta spark that off right, ammo. Dog. so don site yo don is the homie i'm yo. gonna be honest like i know don i know don site mad long really okay. mad long. so you've heard his music before yep okay um i'm actually on his project dope um i think number one out the gate i think the video looks amazing i think i don't know what to look for i I'm agree not, i'm not a cinematography oh, man yeah. but i think like aesthetically this looks crispy as fuck cool. Um, it looks like his location is beautiful. I can't tell if this is stock or if that's part of the actual venue. Looks like it might be part of the venue. Mm -hmm. So to lock that in as your your set is is impressive to me. Um, the song is it's tough, like I said, because I I know this dude personally, right? Like this is this, and he's a really hard to grade your boys, right? No, it is. It is 100. percent Yeah, but you gotta um, just, you know, you gotta yeah, keep it real. Shit, no, 100. Yeah, that's, that's what the, this is all about. Your video's amazing, super fire. The content's not bad, but my biggest critique is that I'm a stickler for this kind of production because yeah. I'm gonna fill this production up. Yeah. Right. My like for me, my my, I'm not rapping in this pocket. I promise you, I'm rapping quite a bit quicker, um, and. He's having fun. I got to give him that. The video is going to carry this for me, though. Yeah. Big time. So if I'm going to score it, I'm going to go like three, three, maybe. No, you know what? For the video, just because of the video, I'm going to go three and a half. Okay. Because I'm going to judge the video heavier. The song pulls it back a bit for me. Yeah. But three no, three random strangers make something work. <coughs> no, honestly... <coughs> I fucking definitely agree with you on the video. I think the video is super hard. I yeah. think it's very clean. Uh, right off the beginning, super captivating. I didn't know if this was going to be like a rock and roll video yeah. or like what the hell is about to happen here, right? Especially like with the long hair and everything. Um, 
This shit slaps on mute though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not trying to diss the guy. No, no, no. no. Dog, keep but, it a buck. Keep yeah, it a buck. No, like I'm talking about the video. Like, yeah. If I just looked at if I was yeah. just based off the video, the video is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It could even be a little bit better. Like the mm. like I would have added just a little bit more, like some like quick cuts. Yeah, yeah. A little yeah. bit of extra like flashiness well, here yeah. and stuff like that. But yeah. overall the video is absolutely amazing. Like yeah. definitely it was a venue they got a hold of. Um, to add to what you were saying, like, you know, um, it looks like it'd be tough or expensive or whatever to get a venue like this. It's actually easier to get venues like this than you would think. And a lot of yeah. times you can get them for free. Really? It's just about thinking, having the ideas and reaching yeah. out and going location scouting and stuff like that. Like, he probably got the place for free. Or, yeah. like, he knows a guy or whatever. Or maybe he paid for it. Who knows, right? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. God knows, right? He might tell us in the comments. Who knows? Hopefully he does. Yeah. But what I want to know is, like, like, what is up with the, like, this flow? What's up with the course like yeah i don't know man like i i actually thought he was gonna come in on his verse and i was like he was gonna hold him like he was gonna yeah, come back on yeah. the and That's then he did like is. like you said it like not fast enough yeah he raps too Flat. slow it's a staggered flow but it wasn't yeah. fast enough and it wasn't like energetic enough um he's actually a good performer though like yeah. he's he knows how to perform like he looks great here like he yeah. looks like the look is there it's just a matter of i think like again this goes back to something i talked about in a previous podcast about having listening parties mm -hmm. and like yo sending the songs to your boys like send it to Lo like if you know this guy yeah, yeah, yeah. and yo like don's if you're listening to this like you should be sending records to lotus yeah. i mean like, yo lotus yo pick this apart from me. like before you're finishing your album or before yeah. you even go to the studio and waste your time or wasting your money at the studio yeah. Send the rough tracks to Lotus or or another homie that you like respect. Not a yes man. Yeah, send no, it to someone that you know yeah, is gonna yeah, critique 100%. it. Like yo, bro. Like for right here, I would have been like yeah. yo, bro. The yeah. flow, like even the lyrics, up, everything. Yeah. Like you're so close. Like dog, you just need to speed it up a bit yeah. and go a little bit double time here and yeah, da, yeah, da da da. And then all of a sudden he goes back and rewrites and all of a sudden changes everything. And because remember he has this vision already and he has yeah. this location. This would have been a five. This would have been a five. This would have been a five because the videos. But I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a solid three. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a solid three. Who did the? Yeah. Sorry. That last one too. Let yeah. me let me go back on that one too. So so for Don's I see it video. Yo, shout out to Don's I though for sending this in. Hundred uh, percent. No dissing at all. Like no. I, I know I like you know slaps on mute, but no, that was more because yeah. the video is super hard. No, the video. That's yeah. what I'm saying. The video definitely. Like, Lundo. This might be. That's a five out of five video. Oh yeah. my no, that's like a four and a half out of five video. But yeah, you know what to look for more than yeah. Me, right? No, just I just would have liked it just a little bit yeah. more B roll. Li yeah, yeah. Just something a little bit more. Josh even. Tiller that's for all. CT Thank you. Media. Okay, so Josh Tiller, dope, man. That's that's actually a fire video, man. You did a good job on that one. Big shout out to um, Don Zai for sending that one in. And going back yeah. to Arrow and OBG, that was a pretty dope video. Yeah. I just didn't like the box. I think if they just would have exited the boxing out of it, everything else would have made more sense. Yeah. Even even throwing in that studio shot would have been fine. It's like a treatment issue, right? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. But you know, sometimes the artist is like, "Yo, but I really want yeah, to do it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's know? true. But uh, so it looks like they had a, like a big, big production here. So it looks like uh, the videography and color grading was by B Dice, editing was by Dizzy D, and then your color correction. I seen. So oh no, that was him. Okay, color grading. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and then the beat maker J C got oh, the heat. Oh, videography and yeah, videography. That, that guy colored it. Yeah. This guy did that. This guy chopped it up. Dizzy okay, D. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So nice job, guys. You guys did a dope job there. Let's get on to the next one. All right, we got Spade, Shadow Man. Now this is a returning, returning, uh, return offender here. We got Spade. He's been here before. We've uh, reviewed some of his songs before. Uh, he's gotten some good grades in the past. He's got some high ratings. Let's see what he's got for us today. Spade, Shadow Man. Yeah. Uh. You fucking new guys who do everything to prove me wrong. I am tired of filling body bags. Could stare at Medusa with cold eyes. Out for the whole pie. Found out life was a bold lie. Cold guy fucking freezing. Yo, it's hunting season. Killer with no cards. Rebel with no fucking freezing. Smoking trees in. Leave these cats hardly breathing. Y'all immune to the prophecies that I be seeing. My mind operates beyond normal human beings. Laser beam lyrics. Yo, done. You can see them streaking. Me and Ink in the lab. All up in these beats. Break apart mountains on them. Ripping up the fucking street. See them talking on the cush. When I'm with my peeps. Rolling up for beef. All your peeps gonna be deceased. Live by the street car. Oh, geez, no, to reload, keep it on the D-low, yo, wherever we go And yo, you can't hold, but your arms don't reach And it's a long way to go, on the road, shit's deep, what? Yeah, it took a little while, now I'm styling on them See, I was running through these streets, now I'm wilding on them Wanna see bodies on the ground, money piling on them Son, it's the shadow man, but you know I'm shining on them 
Yeah, it took a little while, now I'm styling on them See, I was running through these streets, now I'm wilding on them Wanna see bodies on the ground, money piling on them Son, it's the shadow man, but you know I'm shining I'm gonna kill my struggle for Alright, so yeah, man uh, Spade the shadow right there, shadow man Alright, man, so Right off the rip <coughs> Big shout out to Spade, man. Big supporter of the show. Always submitting some stuff. Always trying to be involved and everything like that. Um, right off the rip, too. Like, it's like the video is obviously one of those simple videos. Like, and you know, I never like to give bad grades to a simple video. I like to grade them as they are. Like, if you're doing a simple video, you're not spending a whole bag of money on a video. That's what it is. What it is. Yes. What can you do with it though? That's actually I like yeah, those yeah. videos because then we can be like, all right, let's fucking see, yeah. right? And I mean, you know, obviously he wanted to do his little, he wanted to shout out the wing spot. You know, he wanted to keep it a hood video. I like the cinematography on it. I like the dark shots. I like the, the small, all the smoking shots and everything like that. Like for a simple video, man, it, it's dope. It's nice, yeah. you know, could, could have been, obviously every video can always be better. Yeah. Right? Um, obviously it doesn't wow me. It's a simple video, yeah, right? Yeah. But sometimes some simple videos like can blow your mind, right? Mm -hmm. This one didn't blow my mind, but it's a solid video. It's a nice, and I say, I always say like, I feel like every song should have a, like, not every song, but like if you're gonna try to take one of those, like, you know, like every album, you're gonna have a few or four. Yeah, they yeah. Need, yeah. They need the singles that you're gonna push, put maybe put a little money behind. Those yeah. are the ones for sure you're performing. Maybe do a shirt behind it, whatever, whatever. Like, I feel like, you know, you need something even like this, but, you know, if you wanna spend a bag, spend a bag on one big video, maybe, and, and if you can, if you can luck out with that director, maybe yeah. squeeze in a second nice big video the same day or something. Yeah. Get two nice ones and then do two simple ones, but yeah. keep them nice, clean. They need to. It needs to make sense, right? Yeah. So I like this. Uh, to get into the the music, I, I liked it. Um, you know, the, the verse started off a little a little slow for me, but then it picked up, like kind of like you know, four or five bars, six bars in, kind of thing, like eight bars in, whatever you want to say. And from then on, it was dope. I, I even liked the hook. I feel like on the hook, it would have been dope to have maybe some scratches or something, mm. like because obviously it's like a like kind of like an old school hip hop, a little bit vibe. Mm. Would have been nice to have it just to beef up that hook more, but I liked how the hook wasn't like repetitive. It was like yeah, an old yeah, school yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of hook. Like, yeah. so I like that, I like that. I'm gonna give it a solid four. I'm gonna give it a solid four, which is, it's a high rating, and I'm giving it a high rating because I like that it was a simple, like I'm still giving the, the video some high ratings because mm. it's a simple video and it wasn't shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta give you some high ratings for that. And I, and I like Spade, he's a good dude, and uh, I like his music. Real shit. I like the beat too. Yeah. The beat's fire. Beat claps. Yeah. Um. Um. Sorry. Let's get into the. One, one, let me just shut up the director one time. Um. I don't see it. No. Neither do I. All right. Um. Well. Spade might have done this one to be honest. He does. He does uh, his own stuff too. So. Oh yeah. He might have had somebody film it. Maybe he edited it or something. But. Yeah. Um. But anyway, I'll, we'll find out. Comment that below for me, Spade. There you but, go. Yeah. What did you think? Four out of five for me. Um. Yeah, I agree. Like in terms of the video, like it's. You know, it's you work well. You got type of type of thing, and like I, in my opinion, like don't get me wrong. There's there's some videos that I've done that are like we're never no, there's never coming out. Right, um, right. So right. I don't want to say all content's good content, but anything like this, I think, is better than nothing. All quality content. Yeah, yeah. like in terms of just being like this versus audio, right? Yes. This beats audio this all day. Every cover day. art or yeah. So I'll give him I'll give him brownie points for that. This, he's really good at what he does. Like he's not gonna sit here and say he's not. But it's again, it's not really my cup of tea. Right. Like I don't really listen to this. So it's not neglecting what he does. It's just what I listen to. This I right. don't know really. Right. Um. So based on that, I'm gonna go three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. Nice. And it's not like I said. And it's it's just I, I no, think my expectations score. for like a higher a five is gonna be. Oh, of course. Right. This, like, this, even no, close to this. A five. This one doesn't even knock on a five's door. Yeah. Um, yeah. Song and the video. record. The record holds weight. The it record is the, the record gives us all. I think it's. I think they're both fours. Like yeah. I think the video is like a four, and yeah. and, and, and then the record is because it's pretty solid for a simple video, but it's yeah. a simple video. Yeah. And it could have even been a better simple video. Yeah. And then the, like his verse is dope. His, his his hook is dope. But again, the hook could have been a little bit yeah. better, and the verse could have even been a little bit better. Like yeah. it's uh, it's he's kind polished. of polished. It's yeah, hundred percent. It's yeah, kind of a, it's, it's like we were talking about earlier about Jadakus. It's yeah. kind of like a steady polished yeah. flow more than like an an, an orthodox flow, yeah, which yeah, me and yeah. you both obviously like, like yeah. being Jay Z fans and shit, yeah. right? But this definitely hit like the almost like that 50 cent vibe or like that old kind of like yeah you know not singing and shit more but I mean that like pocket that. though in that pocket all right on to the next one big shout out to space shot uh that's the shadow man go check it out on youtube 
And uh, shout out, yo, Spade, let us know uh, who shot that video. All right, next one. We got another return in mother... <laughs> we got Start at Prince. Uh, Studio Nights, produced by Baden Records, shot by B&D Films. All right. Studio Start at Prince. Start at. <laughs> seen? I don't know how I feel about that name. Okay. Let's get going. I mean, hey, I've seen worse. Yeah, I was named this one, man. <laughs> Stardot Prince. I like that. Hey, like the name nice. could be, yeah. Uh, you might see a studio. I'm trying to come up with a studio. Jeez. Late nights in the studio, I'm rapping at my feelings, I guess. You can see I need some mental healing. Fuck, I never knew what love was until I felt it. Never knew what drugs was until I dealt it. Backed up a gun and started hailing it. But I'm tired of this lifestyle. Always looking over shoulder every day. I'm feeling like my heart getting colder. Bitch broke my heart swift. It ain't about the money for the sex. It's blow over. I had to break my hoe up in the condo. No, I don't condone it. But these flashbacks got my mind fucked from my pops beating on me to my mom's. Like an outcast, Damn. girls play it with my emotions. Fuck, I need a cruise. God take me somewhere out on the ocean. Oh. See, I ain't tryna be the victim. Have my body on the ground, cause they smoke them. Wow. See, I'm forever hoping that we make it out. But this is real pain, something that I can't make up. Hey. Every day you wake up, I'm just looking for a better way. Okay. Free my bro, this shit's crazy, miss him every day. Hey. 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 Damn, I can't lose you. Nigga, you my best friend. It's me and you, J. Right into the end. You the only one in the fam that held the nigga down. I give a fuck about them niggas. They can never come around. I shed tears on the mic. You think I'm trying to change my sound? Nah, I'm trying to hold it down. Facts. Oh, man. 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 I think every rapper has done a video like this in their life. I think every rapper has a video. I think if you to don't this. have a video like this, you know, it's your you're out, yeah. dip out the game. It's your rights of passage. You know what I'm saying? But um, so the video doesn't look bad. Like it looks all right. The shots to me are nice. I don't know. Like I like the treatment, the color, the color treatment. I guess you would call it. Like in the studio, it's a little bit dark, but I get that that's difficult to do from what I understand about videos. Um, these shots I really like. I like with the cherry blossom trees and shit like that, the color that it brings to it. Mm -hmm. The song, I don't know, man. Like, it's, again, it's one of those things where, like, my ear for this and the my peers, I guess, the people that I'm around and the, the artists that I, that I work with consistently, I have a really, 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 really high expectation of records like this. Yeah. I really do. And it's just, like, this falls flat in the music category. Video's not bad, so... Mm -hmm. But if you're going to do like especially something with this kind of a pocket this is my bag and i view it how i'm going to approach it i'm around this is my rapper brother. hat and it's to me it's like i'm getting you out of here on this beat you know what i mean uh -huh. so um i'm gonna go i like the video so i'm gonna go three dope three that's what it's I'm not a bad with. score at all no um yeah i i don't know like i feel this to me is like on the same level as the last one in terms of the video. So they both had the same opportunity in terms of like, you know, you don't have a bag of money. You're not putting yeah, a bunch yeah, of yeah. money into the video. It's just kind of like, you know, you're doing a thing. It's still thought out a little bit better than the last video yeah. per se. Like, um, I really like this shot. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of there's a few. It has its moments. Let's mm -hmm. just say that. Um, but for a kind of a more simpler video, et cetera, I really like the way the edit was, the overlays and stuff like that. I like a lot of the different things about the video. So I, I kind of like agree with what you're saying here on the video uh, side of things. I really like the video. <clears throat> the song to me, um, like it lacked energy. Like I like I like I like those smooth songs, and I know he's a smoother rapper, but you still need to bring that energy to the track. Like even if you're rocking it that smooth. Mm -hmm. You need to bring more energy because what he was saying was pretty dope. Like, and he kind of had like, de like de decent lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Um, it didn't switch up for me enough too. Like in the verse, like, like especially like if you're in that pocket where he's at, mm -hmm. you have so much opportunity yeah. to go here and go there throughout the verse. You don't need to stay in this exact. You know yeah, what it's I mean? Yeah, a cadence thing. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, not a horrible song, but I feel like it just lacked the energy that needed uh, for the beat. Um, 
But uh, I think I, w- I agree with you with on three, man. I was thinking three the whole time, and then you dropped a three, and I feel like I'm, I'm there with you. I would almost give it a three and a half, though, because of the video, actually. I'm going to give it a three and a half because of the video. Okay. Yeah, because the video, the, I, I, I got to give props to the video. Uh, B&B, B&D Films, you guys did a yeah. good job. Um, the color grade was, was decent. Um, you know, it's a little flat here and there, like here, like this shot, and like, you know... Um, for instance like with the studio shot like all you have to do is bring lighting to fix okay, that yeah, right yeah, like yeah. so just a little bit of lighting um not a, not don't over light it no, just of course, a yeah, nice yeah, like just a little bit but you just fire. need like extra lighting like on their face and stuff yeah, like that yeah, yeah. you know i know they use the neon light in the back and they use the natural light and i prefer to use natural light in most scenarios but yeah it like you said it's tough when you're in a studio to, to shoot in low light so yeah. you have to accommodate for that but Regardless, those are just some tips and, you know, whatever. Just my little feedback, whatever, no, blah, blah, sure, blah. Sure. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's still a dope score. That's a six and a half out of ten. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Start at Prince. Yeah. You know, like I said, track could be a little bit better. Video goes hard, but yeah, yeah, track's yeah. still decent. So, yeah. all right, moving on to the next one. So, we got Bad for Your Health by... So, Bad for Your Health by Nobles. So, Nobles is another returning artist that submitted. We've, we, haven't, we haven't had a song in a minute, but um, another guy who's had high ratings in the past. So, let's see what he's got for us today. Let's get it. Big shout out yeah. to Taunton Country Variety. Though. Got in the lab in the basement. Lab in the basement. Now I'm in the lab in the room. Grabbing a broom. Cleaning the mess that I made with a beat go boom. The beat go boom. Get out my face. I need song. some room. Yeah. Give me some space. Never was soon. Yeah. Now we march. Yeah. Halfway to June. Yeah. It's not yeah. in the yeah. morning. It's halfway to noon. Me and these boys are grabbing a spoon. My bad. I saw a boom. I want to see what was going on. My bad. My bad. Yeah. I'm going to pull that back. I'm going to pull that back. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it just a bit down. Got in the lab in the basement. Lab in the basement. Now I'm in the lab in the room. Grabbing a broom. Cleaning the mess that I made when the beat go boom. The beat go boom. Get out my face. I need some room. Give me some space. Never was soon. Now we march. Halfway to June. It's not in the morning. It's halfway to noon. And me and these pussies are grabbing a spoon. There's too many bitches just talking the shit that they talking in man. I sit. Consume. Fuck what you saying. Cause bitch I ain't playing. I need to sit and look at the moon. Fuck what you saying. Cause bitch I ain't playing. I need to sit and look at the moon. Fucking with me is it bad for your wealth? And what is bad for your wealth? All of my therapists say that I probably need help. All of them say I need help. Fucking with me is it bad for your wealth? And what is bad for your wealth? All of my therapists say that I probably need help. All of them say I need help. Fucking with me is it bad for your wealth? And what is bad for your wealth? I don't need help. I don't need wealth. I don't need people to do it myself. All right. That's the last record of the night. That's bad for your health, nobles. That's on you. That's on me. That's on you. That's on me. Me that. Okay, so. <coughs> just fire. I don't know what to say. Hey, this, this guy, I don't know, man. Like, his energy, his flow, like, the guy is polished. Like, the guy, is, he could spit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, this, this one, to me, <coughs> isn't as good as some of the uh, other ones I've heard from him. However, this is a slapper. Um, I have to give it a four and a half because it doesn't blow me away. It's not my favorite song. Like I wouldn't like I wouldn't put on my like top like my favorite song from him, but very close to a five. You know what I mean? That's just for me, and that's just because I like this style of rap. Mm. Um, so for me, like I like, yeah, I'm a J fan and that kind of stuff. But like, like this underground stuff grew on me. Like, um. You know, through the Mad Child stuff and through like even just being uh, in the Canadian music yeah, local yeah, yeah, scene, yeah, yeah. this type of style to me I like. Um, mm. A lot of styles I don't like from the local scene. This is one of those ones I like. It's an underground, edgy, not for everybody, but it's like a you know what I mean. Like certain people fuck with this style. I, I'm getting a kick out of that. The, the little you. animation, yo, the animation. <laughs> this a, a helicopter <laughs> go across. There was a moon. You seen the bitch? There was a chick. <laughs> Look at the axe and shit. Yo. <laughs> I feel like he deserves more points than that, bro. <laughs> knock, knock. Knock, knock, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, slapper. sorry, my bad. No, me. no, no, that's a, yeah. that's a slapper. <laughs> you should do your next video like that, bro. Hey, yo, if anybody need a video like that, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? The price just went up, though. <laughs> so, I gave it a four and a half. Four and a half, yeah, okay. Which is a fucking solid-ass score. If anybody gets mad at me for that, like, yo, suck your granny. Yeah, trust me, dog. See? Trust me. Um... Yeah, yo, I'm not mad at this either. Um, um, there's a few points where he lost the flow a little bit, mm-hmm. not not in a major way. Like it's not like and he, and he figured it back out. But 
<coughs> it's one of those ones that's got a bop. I wouldn't even really call this really so underground. More, um, kind of like reminds me like MGK type shit or something along those lines. Like right. Turn up white boy music. Um, that's why and said, it's not that's a bad kind of why I said Mad Child, but yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying with the MGK. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's actually more MGK than Mad Child, I yeah. would say. But but like, yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, like again, it's just one of those things. Like I said, I'm I'm bad because of the people I'm around. Like me, yeah. I hear this beat. And odd mat- maybe it's not right, but it's like what I hear is KP, and like KP mm. would come and absolutely massacre this. But I beat. feel like they would collaborate well on a track. Yeah, maybe, right? maybe, yeah. maybe. But um, I still, I, bro, three and a half. I think I think yeah. three and a half is just my score all the way. It's kind of in the middle. Well, it's like it's, it's like a reasonable like, score. It's kind of like me. Like I, I give a lot of threes out because it's like. What did you do for me there? <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what and I mean. Like I said, it's not bad. It's not like. But like, I think a three and a half shows that it's like uh, there's something that's a little bit better than yeah. you know something that's just kind of like exactly. uh, eh, it's all right. Yeah. This is like better than oh, it's all right. Yeah. But it's not quite like yo dog. You got to hear this track. Yeah. For you, for yeah. me, I would send this to somebody that yeah. I know is into this. And you know what I mean? This. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. check out this guy. Like yeah. yo, have you heard this dude yet? Like this guy's pretty sick. Because in my opinion, again, and maybe it's because I've heard him before too. Now you never heard him before. No, either, yeah, right? maybe I can. Hear so it's like, yeah, like so. It's you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a fan of his well, work. I'm gonna check his shit now. You should, yeah, you should. He's, like I said, he's not. He, he had this wolf track that we that we uh, reviewed. Did he have this a video one for I, it? I, No. See, he needs a video. Yo, like, this to me a video. Nobles, it up. nobles, you need to holler at me for a video, and we're gonna give you a solid ass price. We're gonna work out a cool deal for you because I just want to. I just want a sick ass. You gotta shoot this for me. My brain goes to if this video would have came on. Yo, we're gonna direct. Yo, you're gonna direct the video. Oh, dog. You're the director. I got the idea in my head already. Nobles, holler at us. Yeah. We're not doing it for free, (laughs) but 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 we're doing it for cheap. Holler at us. Facts. <laughs> Collaboration. Yeah, Have you ever directed a video before? Nope. Boom. Let's go. Be hey. Great. I promise you. Jeez. Let's get it. So, anyways, that's what's up. Wow. What's the rating? You gave it a uh, three. Three and, three, three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. So you got a three and a half and a four and a half. Yeah. So that gives us a, a eight. Yeah. That's a solid ass eight. Fuck. Eight out of ten. That's the highest score of the day. Is it? I, I don't think, know. I think that's the highest score of the day. I, I, yeah, I think so. I think you're right though. If I'm not mistaken. I think the first one you gave four and a half, and I gave. You gave like a two and a half. Yeah. Two was. Yeah. Didn't even. I didn't even get a three as. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so dope. That wraps up the reviews for today. Yo, shout out to all the artists again for submitting. Always submit every time. Whenever you see my post, hit me up on Facebook. That's usually where I'm hitting people up, asking you to comment. Big shout out to Taunton Country Variety for the stacks. Big facts. Um, uh, Big shout out to Super Super Vendors. I want my mystery box. Mm. I need that. Send me one too, bro. Yo, easy. (laughs) No, but if you guys need uh, any snacks or anything like that, uh, drinks, snacks, anything like that, you can go to supervendors.ca. Use code SUPERCONNECTED, get 10% off, and, you know, we get a little kickback. You know what I mean? Support the channel. You know what's Mm. up? But uh, also, if you are in the Durham region area, make sure to go check out Taunton Country Variety. You will not be disappointed. And if you're close to that convenience store, I'm telling you right now, you're going to go back there every single time. Uh, but that wraps it up. Yo, Lotus, big yo, shout out to you, brother. My dog. I appreciate you dog. for finally coming through. We never no, really got to really yeah, kick it in chat really like this ch- and yeah, break and into the... Up. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. so it was dope, man. Yeah, it was lit. Yeah, man, respects, bro. I appreciate you coming out. Shout out to everybody for, for staying tuned. Subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Look at that. He's already starting to steal my Kit Kats and shit. You see that? I'm going to go buy some of these, bro. I'm going to go buy some of these. You take my Kit Kats. All right. Yo, give me these warheads then. All right, peace out. We'll see you guys next week. Ah, Bro, this shit...